Good evening, everybody. Happy Friday. Hope everybody is having a fantastic night tonight. Um, welcome. So I heard about this game and it it's called, uh, I think it's called Service It. No, I keep getting it wrong. I think it's called Service IT. You can do it. I think is what what this game is uh, is is supposed to be called, but basically it is starting your own IT company, working a service desk is kind of what it sounds like, which is something that I did in a previous life, and there was a game that came out about it, and I heard about it through the grapevine, and was like, this looks like a game I should play, so I figured. What better time to do that than on our Friday streams here on the YouTube channel. So uh, last weekend, I apologize. I missed, had family in town, lots of stuff like that. Last weekend, the, or sorry, the weekend before that, we had uh, Obsidianite in the pub over here. We built her a computer and it is absolutely amazing. Go check that video out if you haven't yet. Um, and then the week before that, I was streaming some uh, PC Builder Simulator. So I thought that this only kind of uh, matched, right? This was only just the next step. So I have not played any of this. I have not watched any trailers. I have not really done anything. I literally just saw that this game existed and I was like, all right, I got to go. I, I got to go try it. It's only it's only 10 bucks on Steam right now. It is on sale. It's still technically in early access, so hopefully that doesn't that that mean that doesn't mean it is. Um, there's too many things going wrong with it, uh, but uh, we should. It should be fun. I'm I'm excited. Hopefully we can have a little bit of fun with it. So hope everybody is doing well. Hope that if you are old enough and interested, that you have a drink. And uh, cheers to you. Let's have a good Friday night. All right, so this music, I'm gonna switch over here. This music is, uh, I've only been listening to for a couple of minutes and it, but it is quickly getting on my nerves. And I think the thing that it mostly reminds me of is my time when I did work at a service desk um, and the, the hold music. Like this just sounds like it's the next iteration of, of hold music when you are trying to uh, get a, get get help with your computer. All right, so I'm gonna hit, hitting new game. I get to change my avatar up here a little bit. Ooh, animals, look at that. Okay, I'm definitely going, uh, we're definitely going cute little dog. Actually, let's go Devin Does Tech because that's where I'm at, right? Devin Does Tech is my name. And why did that reset? I should probably fix this for everybody. There we go. That is one of the things that is probably going to bug me. I, I went and looked in the settings and there is no 
setting that um, that allows me to leave the music on when I um, exit out of this, not exit out of this application, but as soon as I click to a different application, it uh, it does not, it does not, it turns the music off. I'm like, oh man. All right, all right. Company name. Oh, these must be logos. Hmm. Those are pretty boring. Not a fan. Uh, all of these look like other company logos, though. Like, they did a good job with that. Devin does tech, tech, company. Oh. Okay. Devin's tech, company. All right, perfect. We are going to go with the QWERTY keyboard style. Clout shot. I'm here for my first day. Let's go. We've got employee number two, clout shot. All right. We are starting the game with the tutorial. How's it going, man? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a hope you're having a great day. Oh man. Those are some steep looking steps. All right. 8 a.m. on a Monday morning before we start. I have to make sure that you're not a robot. Please move forward. Test of humanity. This uh, this is definitely what a um, somebody would do at a small IT company. Let me test to make sure that you're a human. Now let's get to work. Sometimes you will need some parts. Please make an order. To do that, go to your computer. Yes, sir. Eating some Chipotle after your workout, watching you. I appreciate you choosing me for your for your after workout um, entertainment. OSHA says you need a handrail on that staircase, uh, but see, it's in the basement. OSHA cannot see the basement. It's where all IT people work is in the basement. I am now. Oh my gosh! Something is wrong. You are correct. Okie dokie, I've got a virus already. Sandwich Tech, welcome, welcome to the stream. Pinky Tech, welcome as well. I appreciate you guys being here. You wouldn't choose anyone else to miss your streams. Oh man, I appreciate, I appreciate you, Clout Shot. Um, I appreciate everybody being here. This is fantastic. Hopefully everybody's having a great day. Sandwich, Pinky, how are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? All right, you better read this. You are new here. We do not wish for newcomers. If you don't want something bad to happen, close the service now. We are watching you. I think this, is this hacker OSHA? Is this, uh, what what is going on here? Summary of new offers. Some new contracts have arrived. Go to the contracts application to learn more, okay. I have a feeling this is going to be very similar to uh, PC Builder Simulator. Welcome, customer of the bank. Seems like the same energy. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Oh, dude, I just barely walked into this basement and this hacker is, is just ready, ready to hack me. Welcome among the customers of Best Bank. We're happy to have you with us. I'm your account manager to help you realize the full potential from your account. This definitely sounds like the hacker to me, honestly. The the uh, the miss the grammar mistakes here. Welcome among the customers of Best Bank. Like, dude, this is the this is the hacking email right here. That's the that's the phishing email. All right, and then we've got Leonard here. Feels like you should secure your network before you talk to the bank, right? I, I need to do something. This basement is not secure. And we've got Leonard, my legal advisor, of course, because that is the other thing that I need to have in place uh, before fixing a computer is my legal advisor. <laughs> Jonathan, how's it going? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. I appreciate you being here. Hope you're having a great day. After a few long weeks, you finally made it. Congratulations. From today, you are now the owner of IT service. We did it, guys. I'm the owner. 
You still have a long way to go to stabilize your business. Okay, well, that's fair. And gain experience that meets the requirement of the strictest customers. You got a crypto exchange lined up? You're going to need it? Yeah, 100%. We only accept Dogecoin at this uh, at this IT establishment. But I know you'll manage. I will keep you informed of the important changes and useful news. If you have any questions, write to me directly. Doing good, Jonathan. Doing fantastic. It is a Friday night. I know that you are not old enough, but I, I'm, I am. Should I write Leonard about this, this hacker uh, situation going on? Because that's pretty sketchy. I don't see how I can write. What is H? Okay. Oh, motherboard missions. Okay. I don't need that yet, I guess. Uh, how do I write you, Leonard? Spam. You are not in my spam. I don't have a way to write you. This email application is terrible. Okay. We got to go to the shop. Plot twist, Leonard is the hacker. Uh, Leonard, he would, he would set up a fake bank to try to, to try to, uh, try to get me. Click on shop and then click on the configurator. Got yourself shrimp for a snack with cocktail sauce and you're about to have some steak for dinner. Dude, Jonathan is going all out tonight. I want to be at your place. Are you going out and getting that? Or did you did you make that? Did you bring that home? That is that is crazy. I did not have that. I had leftover pizza from last night. She was a motherboard, processor, and RAM. And then add it all to your cart. Nah, your mom made it. Okay, all right, all right. That's good, that's good. Either way, I'd still probably eat it. Most Fridays you have that? Wow, that is that is awesome. Okay, we got a motherboard. We got a CPU. Ooh, yes. This is this is oh 250 for for a for this i3 processor. All right. Let's let's go. This is nice RAM. Okay. This is not going to be like a PC part picker or oh my god, PC part picker. <laughs> PC part picker is my favorite game. Uh, you had oven pizza yourself. Nice. Good. Some Fridays you have something else. Oh my goodness. Um, PC building simulator, uh, where they have actual, um, actual manufacturers and brands. Uh, it does not appear that this game has that. Add all to the cart. $680. That better be the best CPU motherboard combo I've ever had. Go to... Go for checkout and make an order. Is that how I check out? There we go. Check out. Delivery will be in the next business day. Okie dokie. That was an exhausting day. Anyways, that's for that's it for now. Go home. Use the doors to quit your and finish your day. Oh, it is so hard being the owner of this IT company. Uh oh, I don't like how evil this printer looks. Why does the printer look so evil? Why is it evil? <laughs> I mean, outside of the fact that it's a printer, it's just evil. Printers are just evil. That one is not my favorite. All right. Wow, that was quick. Tuesday morning already. The parts have arrived, so you can get down to business. Open the package by holding down the left mouse button. Is that the package? Out of all these boxes, they just like kick it down the stairs. Or did I kick it down the stairs? <laughs> it was sitting outside. Oh, I hold the mouse button. Hey, look at that. It's all the stuff I ordered. Can you configure servers in this game? I have no idea. I know nothing about this game. <laughs> you know as much as I do about this game. And I'm just I'm just manhandling the uh the motherboard right now. We're just gonna we're gonna build it on the floor right here. Oh my God, I actually just set it down. Okay. Oh, I have an inventory. Here's my RAM. There's my CPU. Whoops. Just set it down right there for safekeeping. Uh, now, where are we gonna do this? Oh, the workstation must be over here. Oh, you stay there, CPU. I gotta go check this out really quick. Make sure there's no hackers. Any hackers in here? 
I feel like this is a first person shooter game all of a sudden. Steel Legend motherboard. Um, <laughs> so uh, this is a a non branded um, uh, motherboard. All of this, all of this stuff is not um, does not have actual brand names on it. Quit dropping it. I didn't drop it. I put it there on purpose. Oh my gosh! I got a new email already. This better be from Leonard. I need these hackers taken care of. Now put the motherboard on the workstation. That just left click on the workstation while holding the motherboard. Then go into work mode by clicking on the workstation. Okay. Linus drops the 4090. Yeah, you know that he had to probably do that kind of stuff on purpose. Wait, I didn't get any new emails. It said I had a new email, but I didn't get a new e news. There's something about batteries. What did it say? How do I get to my phone? I'm so confused. Why comp computer building is not this difficult. All right. WSD zoom in and out with the scroll wheel. Change the camera angle by holding down the right mouse button. All right. Cool. 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 And if it's too dark, you can click on the red. It's gone. It said a red dot. This one. Nice lamp. Okay. All right. All right. We are building this thing. Lever. CPU cover. Insert the CPU by clicking on the slot. Engagement baiting. <laughs> would be cool if there is a server rack in the game. That would be pretty fun. I mean... The, the other thing is this game is in early access, they said. So, I mean, it could just be that, you know, they're they're going to do that um, later. CPU has been put in place. Now we are locking it in. Very well. Let's move on. Unlock the RAM slot by clicking on the latch on the bottom. Click. Click on the slot to insert the RAM. Server rack building simulator. That would be, that would be, I feel like, I I was going to say more boring than this, but let's be honest, it would be, this is pretty boring too, so. <laughs> Exit the mode by clicking escape. Now you can sell the motherboard for a profit. I can sell this for a profit? That's all it takes? It is nice RAM, Pinky. It is the nice RAM brand. Either way, I am selling this for a profit. Pick it up because I used my expert knowledge to install install the RAM and the CPU. Also, I think I need to switch the music out because it's getting annoying. It's still only playing this song. So give me a second and I'm gonna I'm <laughs> I'm gonna grab some some music somewhere. Hold on. Give me one second. Give me a second. I'm getting some music. Hopefully it's some good music. Let's see. Where are the unlocked stations? VHS. Is that the only station? All right, we can play chill guitar music, disco music, electro swing. I kind of like electro swing. We're going to listen to that. All right, how's that? Can you hear the music? That is what we're going to listen to. Going to go eat dinner, have fun. Good luck eating steak and shrimp. Fixing servers would feel too much like work. Single channel RAM, always in demand, dude. Okay, now I gotta turn the music off here. Turn off music, apply. Yeah, yeah, dude, that, the, this motherboard is just crazy in, uh, in demand right now. Okay, give me a second. I need to, it's pretty loud 
is is the music okay where it's at? I feel like it's it's loud for me, but maybe I'm just maybe I'm just talking loud. All right, exit the mode by clicking escape night. Okay, that's what I did. Sell an item, hold Alt and left click on it. Nine hundred dollars. Nine hundred dollars. I bought this for six hundred and eighty, and because I put the RAM and the CPU in, <laughs> selling it for an extra two hundred and twenty dollars. Hold to sell. Okay, this is getting a little weird. I think Leonard left me a package. You need to start an IT company, dude. Yeah, this is this is pretty insane. I don't press Q. Contracts. Is is this Leonard? I have no idea who is talking to me right now. It's kind of making me nervous though. Server users support. We urgently need help with active server configuration. All right. Looks like we're doing servers. <laughs> Yes, sir or madam. The active server application is on your computer desktop. Enter the application. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Can, uh, can you guys hear that? I hope you can. Because it's really weird. Okay, I think what I have to do is turn this up a little bit. And then, uh, and then I just have to turn the volume on the music down so that you guys can actually hear. Okay, that's probably better. Hopefully you can still hear the music, but hopefully if we just turn like um, everything up here, you'll be able to hear. Okay, active server application is on your computer desktop recently there have been personnel there's personnel there's been personnel changes in the company usually our IT specialist helps us in such situations but now he is on leave we would appreciate it if you would help if you would run the active server application we've already given you access and change the following things. Remove the user, Martin Warwick. Change Clements, Clements Rokes password to paper solution 135. I'm glad that they just sent that in the email. There's definitely no way that a hacker will be able to find that password in the email that you sent me. And check the option in which this employee will have to change his password on next login. If you do a good job, we will get back to you. What? We will get back to you? Oh my gosh. I don't know what's going on, but this is... <laughs> this is where client servers will appear. Select the server that the client has granted you access to. Follow the order. Once you've done everything, enter the contracts application and complete the order. Yes hacker person okay i think that's who i wanted to delete yeah it's the only one i can delete okay i gotta change the password wow this is fun incorrect password okay what was it paper paper solutions can i copy oh there we go i hope that that works Nice, paper solution, 135. Okay, 
Oh, and change it. So force password to change next login. Boom. And if you do a good job, we will get back to you, whatever that means. I can't wait for them to get back to me. What kind of groups they got? Who do they got in IT? Who's working in IT? Nobody, he's on leave. They have a router. That's the only device they have on their, on their network. Ugh. AI revolution is in the news. Okay, wait. Now I have to go and end it on my contracts app. Complete. Congratulations. You have completed your first contract. Thanks, weird AI person. We will continue to work with you. Move on to the next day. Take a rest. I would love to take a rest. Evaluation of the job. I rate the execution of the order with five out of five stars. That's exactly what I want all my clients to do. I don't want them, I don't need them to pay me. Uh, I just want them to rate me five out of five stars. <laughs> you will receive the adequate reputation points and payment. Thank you, Paper Solution Company. New types of batteries. Titanium batteries revolutionize mobile devices. Oh my gosh, so many emails. Who knew running a, an IT company, you'd, you'd have to look at so many emails. We need your immediate response. We would like to inform you that your account has been suspended. Due to, oh my gosh. Due to ad abnormal activity. Next time they will shout you out on their socials. Nice. That's what I need. That's what I need from Paper Solution Company. In order to restore your access to your account, it's necessary to confirm your information uh, immediately. Please provide us with your credit card number. Otherwise, we'll be forced to close your account permanently. To confirm your information, please click the following link. Click here. Should I click it? Technical at assistance email. That looks legit. This has got to be another email from Leonard. Got to be another email from Leonard. No, no, it's legit. It's from it's from Leonard. Oh, I got I just won a million dollars. This is the best game ever. To claim your prize, please immediately confirm your personal information, <laughs> including your bank account number and password. This will speed up the process of transferring your funds. This is the this is this game is fantastic. Okay, that one was the other spam one. Okay, we'll get rid of that. I probably don't need the welcome email anymore. New offers, don't need that. But I want to keep the email from Leonard just in case I need to contact him. I can't I can't do anything with the email, but I need to keep it. All right. We're shutting down for the night. What was that? It doesn't work anymore. What'd I just do? Locked door? What are these doors? What's this big thing? That's electric box. What's under here? Anything under here? Nope, this is my hidey spot when um my hidey spot when the uh when the hacker comes to get me. Just build up a box fortress. I can't stack the boxes. Hmm. Seems like a true IT game. Just throw everything everywhere. Don't stack it nicely. Okay. Well, I don't know what's going on. Wait, these boxes are stacked. All right. Time to go. Welcome I can't. Back. Now go to your computer and turn on the Ooh. Courses, courses. I can't wait for this to turn into like some psychological thriller and just like people start getting murdered everywhere hide there when osha comes yeah 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 exactly i think that's that's the play right there all right courses here you can acquire new skills oh okay the ones you already have each course will teach you how to perform a certain activity that's cool new contracts and much more 
Okay, alright. So of, of course. course. So you can take it completely free. Take <laughs> the soldering course. I, I know that discount. The completely free discount. Yeah, I've I've gotten that one before. There's just certain websites on the internet that, that always just uh, give you that completely free discount. Oh, we're going into VR. We're going into VR for training. Okie dokie. Uh, to hide your inventory, press tab. Okay. Pick up an item. Click on the workstation with the right mouse button and put it down with left mouse button. Using a screwdriver, remove the screws, securing the bottom of the housing by clicking with the left mouse button on them. Remove the unscrewed part. When the task is finished, close the cover. Okay. Take a screwdriver and unscrew the screws. Screwdriver. Unscrew the screws. Got it. I can do that. I can do that. Would love to. All right. Hey, use cotton wipes to clean the plate. Remove dirt by holding down the left mouse button. I can do that. Take a tissue and holding the left mouse button on the board. Move the mouse until the dirt disappears. Look at all that gross dirt. Gotta get it out of here. Get out of there, dirt. Oh, 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 hey, we got it. We got it. We cleaned it up. Click on the red switch to turn on the multimeter. Oh, goodness. Here we go to find out which modes to use. Look at the bottom right corner of the mat, along with other useful things. You'll find tips which multimeter mode should be used to correctly measure the values. Using the probes, hold down the left mouse button. Okie dokie. If the value shown on the multimeter is outside the range of values displayed on the over the elements being measured, then it is broken. Turn on the multimeter. Set the appropriate mode for the component you want to measure. Pick Power. Up probes and measure the resistor values. Okay, so what do I want to measure? What am I trying to measure here? What am, I have no idea what this means. I'm not an electrician. What's going on here? I see. I see two. Is that two kilo ohms? Is that what that is? Twenty kilo ohms. What? What? Uh, how do I? I can't even see the multimeter. Why is it okay? It's at twenty volts right now. Two volts. Is that what I want? Here we go. Tw okay, twenty. I just went over here. Hold on. Ah, I went over it again. Okay, two kilo ohms is 102. Whatever 102 is. I don't know what those numbers mean. All right. Let's try it out. Oh my goodness. What isn't it? Oh, resistor specific numbers. Okay, okay. 512 and 821. News, more news. Okay, I don't I don't I don't have time for news. Okay. Okay, so I the two two kilo ohms ones, one oh two and eight. Okay, this one. One, that's right, right? And eight twenty one. One. Less than one. I think that's right. Okay, so now we switch it to twenty. Try the other two. Five. Okay, that's right, that's where it's supposed to be, it says. And then resistor 01C. Whoa! I think I did it right, but I have no idea what I just did. Set the temperature on the soldering iron. I don't even... 
What am I soldering? Either way, let's turn it on. New email. I'm sure it's, it's another phishing email. That's fine. We'll just leave it. Quickly set to quickly. Oh, okay. Or use the arrow shape buttons to quickly set to 300 degrees Celsius. Wait for it to heat up. This is a lot of reading while I'm taking this course. To desolder the component, you need to get rid of the two solders that hold the component on the board. Pick up the soldering iron flask and hold down the left mouse button on the broken component. I don't know which one the broken one is though. That's the problem. When an item has both solders desoldered, click on it to remove it. Okay. After desoldering the broken component, go take a new one from the crate. Okay. Put it in your inventory, put it back to the crate. Okay. Click the spot where the resistor was to place a new one. Easy enough. Solder a component is done the same way as desoldering. Turn on the soldering iron. Set the temperature to 300 with the red button and desolder the resistor. Remember that the element has two solders. Turn it up to 300 degrees. I think that's what this is doing. I don't know. I hope. 300. Okay. That's heating up to 300 degrees. I still need to figure out which one of these is, uh, is malfunctioning, I guess. Because I don't know. They all looked like they were fine to me. Okay, so we're at the 20 still. It's... Okay, it must be that one that's broke. Okay, cool. I guess I know now. That one. Okay, how we doing, soldering iron? Are you there yet? What's uh, what's my test? Does it burn something? Does it touch it? Is that how I see how hot it is? How do I know if it's warmed up yet? Okay. Okay, here we go, it's nothing. Unsolder. Whoop! Okay, I think I got it. Whoop! Too much. Okay, there we go. Okay. I was not ready for that mini game. <laughs> I was not ready for that mini game. Got it. Okie dokie. Look at all these cute little resistors. Now return to the workstation and enter the working mode. When you enter working mode, you can have items in inventory. Click on the disordered component to discard it. Then click where it lies and choose from the available options to put a new resistor in its place. After that, solder the element. Oh, that's the new one. Okay, so it's in my inventory now. How do I get... Okay, I just have to do that. Okay. Wait, where's the... Where's the, where's the solder? Is there... Is there solder somewhere? Um, uh, or do I just need to go for it and it'll do it by itself? Oh, okay. That was easy. Just, just solder it. It just, that's what a soldering iron kid do, does, kids. Just creates solder. Use the knobs to set the amps and volts that are appropriate for your board. This is, this is way more in depth than I was anticipating here. Oh my gosh, plug the board. Plug in the board, plug the board by clicking the left mouse button. If the LEDs light up green, the board works. If red, the board still does not work. As long as the amps and volts are set to zero, the LED will not light up. Watch out in real repairs. If you set the amps and volts too high, you can destroy the board. If this happens, you will have to replace all non-functioning elements. Cable connector to connect it. 
Set right. the appropriate values on the power supply using the knobs. Check that the board is working. Okay. Okay, so amps, we're looking at 1.8 to 2.5, so we'll go like 2. And then, what are we doing here? I don't want it, I don't, I don't want. Whoa, why is it? Changed again. Okay, down, 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 down. Down, down, down. We're gonna go with a solid two. There we go, okay, okay. And we're going 11 to 13 volts. Oh, I see, I see, I see, okay. Fine and coarse. Okay, so we're going 12 volts. All right, let's try it. Disconnect the cable. Put the cover in place and screw in the screws. We're just, we're not gonna test it. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go for it. Okie dokie. We're just gonna go for it. Clearly this is how you do it. You just and always plug it in. Pick up the reader and put it on the blue orange rack. Wait, did it, what, did it work? Put on this. Well done. You've completed the course. I won't imprison you in VR. <laughs> thank, thank you, weird AI voice. I appreciate it. All right, we gained some skills, soldering. Items for the soldering store. I hope nobody ever asks us to do that. Because let's be honest, I feel like if a customer came I into an IT shop. Learner. You have new contracts at your disposal. Perform at least two of them. I, I feel like if somebody came into my IT shop and was like, hey, can you solder this board for me really quick? I'd be like, no, no, I can't. Sorry. Take on more orders, complete two assignments, and earn some money. I can take on more orders. You took up the assignment. All the necessary information was sent. Oh, okay. Okay. I can't open the door. The reader broke down. Ethernet board. All right, so should we fix an ethernet board or should we fix the smart office door? We're definitely taking this one because that's easy enough. Oh, is that? Oh yeah, there we go. Um, let's take the smart office door. We'll do that. Okay, change of employees. So that one's gonna send me an email. So what do we got here? Actually, just kidding. I want to do this. And then I want servers. Nice work. Email. Uh, change of employees. Recently changed a few things in the company. And in connection with this, we have hired a few employees. For this, some people need to be granted admin access. YouTube audio library going hard. Oh, this is uh, this is actually... Um, uh, this is Pretzel Rocks. This is uh, not the YouTube library. For this, some people need to be granted admin status. Who wants admin status? Please add two employees. Elena Max. Add a user. Oh, sorry. I was looking for audio for a video. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> sorry. Uh, I only have looked in there a few times. And I feel like I couldn't find what I was looking for. I, I never felt like I was like, oh yeah, this is the perfect song. But if you're finding some good stuff, like go for it. Nice work, one, two, three, change. 
uh, select change at next login. And she needs to be an admin. Save. Wait, right? Admin status. Okay, they don't have groups. And then we're also adding Mark Fallon. We've got email M Fallon. Username also M Fallon. Nice work. One, two, three. Admin, change that password. In addition, please change the, the type from user to admin for the following people. Alice, to an admin, and John, to an admin as well. Okay, everybody's an admin. Everybody gets to be an admin. Okay, contracts, so we should be able to complete that one. All right, now we gotta figure out what we're doing with this one. What? Two out of five? What? I, what did I do wrong? What did I even do wrong? They're not even gonna tell me. They're just like, you actually suck. Earned thousands of dollars. Like they they didn't even tell me what you did wrong. They were just like, oh, you kinda you kinda sucked. We're gonna give you the proper amount of payment for that terrible job. What did I, what did I do wrong? Alright, for now, the front door of the office hasn't always wanted to open, but today it went beyond all limits. Very much in need of a repair of the RFID card reader module. The shipment will arrive the next business day. Okay, so it's probably not even here. What does my sp smart speaker here do? Nothing. Oh, it changes songs? If I was listening to songs on there, that would be funny, but I'm not. What is this, do you think? Kind of notice this. Whose password is this? Why are there notes all over the ground? Why did everybody leave their passwords everywhere? Plastic? Oh gosh. They don't like being stacked. We'll just leave them on the floor. Plastic. Okie dokie. Light switch doesn't work either. Ugh! Okay, I don't like that. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, this is nice. I'm glad that there's... Two toilets in here that I can't use. Leonard's in one and the hacker's in the other is my guess. I can't use anything else in here, but I can use the hand dryer. Amazing. Amazing, Leonard. What's on top of this? Nothing. What else can I get into? A bunch of different kinds. I mean, this is my IT company, right? What could this possibly go to? Why do I feel like I need I need cover for this? Why is it so dark? Oh, light switch. Okay, we're good. Why do I feel like this is that episode of The Office? Or not The Office, uh, the IT crowd where the vampire is going to pop out. Okay. <gasps> server unlocks after server here, of course. We found it, Jonathan! All these pallets. How do I get pallets out of here? 
What about can I can I change this to palette working hero simulator and I can go and just make coffee tables for a living? That one's still locked though. We gotta find that one. Okay. They're gonna deliver me an RFID thing to fix tomorrow, so I gotta I gotta go get that. That doesn't take nearly as long as the PC building simulator did. I at least had had time to have a have a drink. All right, all right, all right, all right. Package open. RFID reader, oh, okay, okay. Let's go fix it. Let's go practice my new soldering techniques. Okay, I remember how to do this, right? Right? I remember how to do this. Take, 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 take this. There we go, take the screws out. Got to be precise with this little screwdriver. All right, we got to clean this bad boy up because it's nice and dirty. Just like all RFID readers get, right? Do, 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 do. Why is it not cleaning anymore? Oh, do I only got to clean over here? Okay, good enough apparently. All right, now I got to find out which which one is causing the issues. All right, so we're at two. I'm just saying kilo ohms because I, I think that's what it is. No idea though. All right, 102 and 821 again, same ones. 102, what? what uh, which one's 102? Okay. And we're looking for between 0.95 and 1. So that one is the one that's not working. Okay, because then we also got 8. Okay, that one is perfect. And swap over to here. Oh, hello. That one's not working either. So 512 and the top one there. That one's not working either. So all of them except for that one. Is that right? Oh, one. Okay. All right. All right. That one. That's not the right one. Okay. So all of them except for... Okay, great. Let's replace some... Uh, all right, go down. Okay, let's replace some uh, resistors, I guess. This is exactly what I wanted to do, uh, is, is replace resistors. Just let me do some Active Directory stuff for you for $500. All right, it said you have to let it warm up, but I don't know how long... How Oh, is it while it's doing that? Oh, now it's warming up. Okay. Let it warm up. Give it a second. All right. Now we're good to go. So we need to take all of them off except for this other one here at the bottom. I think. That's what we're doing either way. Boop, boop, boop. You all are mine. Well, which ones do I need? Who is... Oh my goodness, they're all... Why are they all labeled like this? Okay, so... I just don't need the 821. I don't need an 821. Okay, 102 I need. Ugh... I need to go buy them. Wow, owning my own IT company sucks. I don't want to go buy a bunch of resistors. I just want to fix them. Parts? Resistors. Okay, we'll just, we'll just buy a bunch of them. Like, ten. How's that? Can I just put ten of each? Okay. 
Go, 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 go. Check out. And they'll be here tomorrow. I'm guessing. Right? Okay, yeah, I assume they'll be here tomorrow. Welp. Okay, I guess we'll just end this day again. Alright, alright, alright. Box. Package. Look at all those resistors. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Okay. So we need to just replace... Replace, replace, and then solder. Good, I left the soldering iron on. It's still warm. Perfect. Perfect, still warm. All right. Now I need to test this. We need two amps and we need 12 volts. What we're doing, right? Is it working? Uh, didn't it say that those lights were supposed to turn green? Or is it that that turns green? Oh, it's that that turns green. Okay. Cool, that makes sense. Got it. And now what do I do with this? Do I just... You cannot sell this item. I, I'm not really trying to sell it, but how do I get rid of... Oh, I put it on the rack. Rack. Boop. Perfect. Storage. Okay. I need to put these away. Mind-controlled interactions. Okay. 8, 12. 8, 21. Boop. Look at how cute they are! Uh, which one's this? I don't know what that is. What did I order? 5, 12. Boop. 102. Uh, this one. Okay, so what? I don't know what these are. 402 resistor. Boop. And that is this one. Boop. Cute. Look at how I'm just sitting in there. Alright. Alright. Uh, wait. Contracts, I think. Send. Any money you have earned. And you'll learn you can also buy yourself furniture and refresh your office. Alright. Press T to enter office decorating room. Press T to enter office decorating mode. One In last important point. Go to the bank's application. Well, I'm decorating my office. I don't know, I kind of like the uh, dark, dingy, brick basement look. Look that we've got going on here. Ew, carpet. Yeah, I'm kind of just liking... Uh... Where do those go? Oh, you can play some. Oh, this is nice. That's a nice plant. I love you. Good night. 
Oh, amazing. Yeah, we're getting a beanbag chair in the corner. Absolutely. Green shelf, small drawer. We don't need any of that stuff. What? I have to use this to move it? Oh, I can move. Okay. All right, all right. Uh, Why doesn't it fit anywhere? Okay, I guess it... I guess it's just going to go wherever it lands. Oop. Excuse me. Metal pile. I, why can I not do anything about that? Move my plant, though. Perfect. 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 Can, can you set... Can I just set my plant down? I just want to, I just want to set my plant down. I just, I just want to. I just. Perfect. Beautiful, beautiful addition. All right, I got an email. Revolutionary supplements now available without a prescription. Wow. All right. Dude, I wasn't dropping it. I was, I was placing it. Five out of five on the, on the solder job. Look at that. Why? Excuse me. Why am I getting all these spam emails? That plant is perfectly aligned exactly where I wanted it to be. All right, we might as well take this one too since we're we're doing this stuff. Cuz I don't I literally can't get through there anymore. Amazing. I I don't Is this uh supposed to go in the server room? Okay. That's good enough right now. Oh, go to the bank application. That's what I have to do. Here you will find the history of transactions. Go okay. to the loan tab. I don't if need a loan. You run out of money. You can find available loans here. I don't go need a loan. Expenses tab now. Here you will find the weekly expenses. Ugh. Remember to pay them. If you don't, you will start to clean the rest. Now you can proceed on your own. Keep growing and keep working. Medical insurance, taxes, oh, and rent. I forgot. I have one more thing for you that you might find interesting. It's in the store as a marketplace tab. Take a look at it in your spare time. Marketplace tab? I have officially completed the tutorial. You'll find offers for various types of broken boards, which you can purchase at a lower price, repair them, sell them at a profit. Nice. Clearing the board adds a bonus. Ooh, cool. Interesting. Different levels. Pretty cool. I'm down. All right. Okay, so I've got this one. Needs a dusting. Change a few things in an Ethernet module that has been dusting on my shelf, but something went wrong. Now it is broken. Uh, why is an accountant dealing with this Ethernet module? This is too real now. <laughs> the marketplace. Uh, fix things and flip it from the marketplace. The weekend is coming. During this time, packages do not arrive. Uh, uh, okay. So does that mean I literally just have to skip? Yep, it's a Saturday. Um, so do I just not do anything? Why did, why did I come back here? Why did I come back on a Saturday? Is there something else I'm supposed to be doing here? Maybe I'm supposed to be doing the more training so I can get more um, things. 
Ooh, which one should we do? Network? Networking or or terminal? Terminal usage. This sounds fun. Got it. I don't want to do my taxes. All right, we're going into VR to learn how to use command prompt. To perform the course, we will need the terminal. Got it. The terminal uses commands. Networking so I can get the hacker out. To, I, I mean, this looks way more hackerish. so. To begin with, let's delete the crack file. Delete the crack press, file, see? Select the category, press remove data. Now you need to choose where the file is located. Click change directory. Click change directory. This is... It is located. It is on the desktop. <laughs> so click the desktop button. Then press enter. I can't can Oh, I can type file. it in. Select the remove data category again and choose delete file. Select the file you need to delete and <laughs> click enter. So you can type it all out. Or you can just have it, uh... Good. Nice, you can actually the type the all these commands. <laughs> Amazing. Focus on the order list database. Select the restore data category. Find the file to recover by clicking this gray scan and select a valuable disk. Then press enter. Scan the disk. Now the data can be recovered. Select the restore data category again. Then select check this to recover the data. After that, select it great. Now the last thing, <laughs> regaining access to the website. Select the access recovery category. To begin with. You need to connect to the host. Now enter the FTP IP you need to connect to. The client will always give you this data. But here for practice purposes. Okay. Connecting, connecting. Still now connecting. You are connected to the hosting. Nice. So you can manage it. Go into the access recovery category again. Here you can set the correct data to make the website work again. The customer will give you this data, but for the purposes of the course, enter in the IP 11.288.417.38 and domain main. When you have successfully completed the course, see you later. That was easy enough. Usage of terminals. I can use a terminal now. I'm back at the top of my stairs for some reason. I don't have any new emails. Why is it telling me I have new emails? Oh, these hackers. Ooh, look at all of the jobs I can take now. Holy buckets. All right. Changes in active server. Right, let's just do let's just let's just do one of these at a time. So we don't mess them all up. Alright. Changes in active server. Alright, we're making changes, so we need a data management professional. Please change. Remove user leaks edger removed change pane caris from user to admin changed set the correct username for odell to o dot galpin got it easy Easiest $600 of my life. Hey, they appreciate my hard work and de dedication. They will pay me fairly. Yeah, see, we just make money doing this. This is super easy. Active server. I'm an active server professional. 
So we referred ourselves, we got a referral to work from, work with you from a company we work with. So we referred ourselves to you. We would like you to add two users. Samantha Keith. S Keith. S dot Keith at Amber dot trans. Username is S Keith. Password is one, two, three, four, A. Okay. Save. And then we're going to add Caitlin Carey. Got an email of this. Got a username of this. The password of this. And set that. Save. Easy, easy, easy. Do you want to complete a task even if you haven't fully finished it? What does that mean? I fully finished it. I added those two users. What are you what are you expecting me to do? I added them right here. Samantha Keith. Did I do something wrong? Did I do something wrong? One, two, three, four, A. A. And Caitlin Carey. And I copied everything else. What didn't I do? Yep, I guess I'm finishing this one. Three out of five. Perfect. Thank you. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, what other contracts we got? Another board to repair. New employees at a growing company. I want to do a... Is there a... Yeah, one of these. I have several files to delete. That sounds like not a scam at all. Can you delete a bunch of files for me? Can you please remove two things from my desktop? <laughs> I can't quite remove them. Not sure why. IP is... 22, 142, 187, 222. Password. Thank you for your password, Rom Romald. Please remove the error and the unavailable folder. Okay. How do I oh, I have to go in here and remove them. CD desktop. No, that didn't work. Change it. Oh, I got to do it like that. Okay, I actually have to be legit about it. I can't move this, though. I don't like that. Delete file. Error. Delete. Unavailable. Boop. Delete. <laughs> I wonder if I can run something else like that. It let me run it. <laughs> it didn't give me an error, right? No, that's a, that's a Linux thing. It never gives you errors, right? Everything still looks like it's working. Ooh, should I download some stuff for him, too, while I'm here? I have this one. No, I can't do that. All right. They have been deleted, sir. Okay. 
I go? Okay. Oh. Okay, there we go. It let me do it, so... That's fine, right? Five out of five. Man, I'm so good at this. I've made like $3,000 today. I'm up to almost $6,000. Download a minor program. <laughs> his, dude, R Romald's, his computer, not worth, not worth anything. I wouldn't, I wouldn't make any money mining Bitcoin. Not even worth it. All right, what are we doing next? Let's learn some more stuff. Let's learn some more stuff. All right, we'll do the basic networking. Going into VR. Welcome to the network management course. To get started, go to the laptop desktop. <laughs> At least he'd have a huge power bill. <laughs> Oh, he probably would, and he'd be like, why is my computer hot all the time? Why are my fans always blowing? Click on the red Wi-Fi icon. Select an available network and log in. Your Wi-Fi password should be written on a piece of paper next to your laptop. Amazing. Network manager login Wi-Fi password. Okay. Oh my gosh, why can I not look at it? Ah, uh, no, it's blowing away. Admin. PA dollar sign dollar sign W2. Was it, was it a capital P? Ugh. Oh my gosh, is this case sensitive? You gotta run. Have a great weekend. I appreciate you being here, Pinky. <laughs> I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I don't know what's going on. Lowercase p. What? That is definitely correct. Network manager login and password admin. W2, is that a lowercase w? Is it all lowercase? Nope. Uh, enough. Fail this. What am I doing wrong here? Oh, do I literally need to get on Wi-Fi first? Oh my goodness. Wi-Fi password, GT. GT five pound. R71. Okay, I'm not forgetting that. Five pound R71. Hurry. Now log into the network manager application. The login and password is written on a piece of paper that should be lying next to the laptop too. Okay, thank you. Jeez Louise. In this application, you will find all the devices connected to the network. To manage a particular device, click on it. Each device has its own two lights in the upper left corner. The first one, the one on the left, indicates whether the device is on. Red means it's off, green is on. Second symbolizes the device's network connectivity. Orange means the connection is weak. Green means the connection is fully functioning. Restore the device's connection, check the following. Whether the port is enabled, bandwidth mode is in auto or 100 megabit, 
and duplex mode is in auto or full. Whether the IP address is correct, the first three parts of the IP must be the same as the router. If you're using DHCP, DHCP and ADA is enabled on Check the router. One the ports on the devices are enabled. Two, if you are using DHCP, is DHCP enabled on the router? Three, if the IP is set to static, then are the first three parts of the device IP the same as on the router? For bandwidth and duplex are on auto mode. You have successfully completed the course. See you later. I'm a network professional. I'm a network professional now. I can fix anything. All right, let's see what one of these network one is is like. Any ideas? on how to cool down the hotspot on a 4060 Ti? That is a good question. I have not taken that course yet. Uh, I think that's in the system installation uh, course. Not taken that one yet, so I apologize. If you'd like to give me $500, I will take the course and then I will be able to help you fix it. <laughs> How's it going, Tony? Hope you are having a fantastic night. New thermal paste? I can't imagine that a uh, 4060 would need new thermal paste at this point. I feel like that's um, still fairly new. I feel like if it needs thermal paste, uh, I don't know. I don't know. That uh, doesn't sound like you should need new thermal paste on a card so new at this point. But I could be wrong. Maybe I mean what's it what's it doing? I'm gonna fix their network for them. Oh look at this beautiful creepy office that I get to work in for them. Okay. What does it say? Cool grip 70? Yes, and that's a capital C. 90 C. Did you want to know what what mine is right now? Mine's at 54 and it's running at 100%. <laughs> this game is taking 100% CPU and it is uh it's at 53 C. Yeah, that doesn't sound great. Uh yeah, I don't know. Um, that doesn't sound right. That'd be PA2. What is this? We running DHCP here? Yep, sure are. How are we doing? DHCP for you, DHCP for you. Boom. Easiest fix of my life. These guys just don't even know what they're doing. That was a, supposed to be an IP master. IP master. And I just, just nailed it. Just like that. Okay, that one I still need to do. GPU temp was 70, but the hotspot was 90. Um, hold on, I think. 
Let me see what I got on mine. That's still definitely hot. I mean, where's where's my hardware info? Here we go. Mine is, oh my gosh, where is it? GPU hotspot is sitting at 65, 65.6, high of 68.6 tonight. Yeah, I don't know. That doesn't sound great. I mean, is the, uh. Is the fan spinning up on it? Um, yeah, that doesn't sound good. Otherwise, yeah, I don't know what else you would do other than replace the thermal paste. But that could just be a could just be a power issue in general. If it, uh, I, I would check to see if this one has been opened in the past already. If it hasn't. You might not want to open it yet. Maybe try reaching out to like the manufacturer or something and, and see if see if they can help you out at all, but otherwise, yeah, I mean making sure it's cleaned off and that just seems weird. Seems weird though. I apologize. I don't have any other ideas for you. <laughs> uh, get a get a fan and point it at it. Just let it run. Um, I don't know. Give it to somebody else and let them deal with it. <laughs> uh. I'm gonna go see if I can find any more keys. Maybe there's one in the bathroom. Anyone in here? No, I don't think so. I found a key earlier and it unlocked the server room, but this one I have not uh, been able to unlock yet. What is going on when that happens? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. What these plastic bottles. Got a lot of them. Liquid. It's liquid. I don't know what kind of liquid. You should have saw this uh, this earlier, Tony. I was uh, I was soldering stuff in here. It's pretty intense. Pretty intense. Got another one if you want to see it. Got an Ethernet module that I have to go and solder. Okay, so this is the little bugger here. We got a couple of replaceable resistors got to check this how do you say this is this uh is this 20 kilo ohms is that how i would say this why is my multimeter oh i see okay there we go Okay, I see. All right, that one's good. That one's good. That one's good. That one's good. 
That one is not good. That one is not having a good day. That one's good. That one looks great. That one's broke. Okay, which one's that? R4. R3 is not doing great either. That one's fine. R3, R4, and R5. Perfect. Easy enough. R3, R4, and R5. I just gotta wait for the... Why is this so slow? Wait. Gotta wait for the soldering iron to heat up. Alright, alright. This one is coming off. This one is coming off. This one is coming off. Alright. Boop, boop, boop. All right, so these are 402 resistors. I think this one, I need three of them. There, now we need to solder them back on. Easy peasy. Boop, you can sit there. All right, let's see. I think, do I need to send? Send that. Check the email. Boom, five of five. Let's go. That was that one. That one's done. All right. Average rating, 4.3 out of 5. Hey, who is this? Casey Game On. How's it going? Nick, welcome. Welcome to the stream. I am not going to lie. I am struggling to keep my eyes open at this point. <laughs> is this on Game Pass? No. Uh, no. At least not that I know of. I'd be a little bit mad if it was. Actually, I bought it on Steam. Um, it was only 10 bucks on Steam, though, so... It is uh, it's very interesting so far. Um, I have, uh, you, you get to take courses, you get to learn all these different things, and then you get to do them. So I've been soldering some stuff, I've been um, jumping into the terminal and like deleting files and stuff for people. It's pretty cool, pretty, pr pretty fun stuff. Like this, here, uh, here this guy's having some network issues. Let's go and uh, let's go and fix his network issues. So basically, here we're now at his office, and uh, oh yeah, we got to get on the Wi-Fi first. So they always leave their password right here. What does that say? I can't read it. S L I my jam, slim my jam. Wonder if this is something that would be good for beginners that want to get into this um i mean it's it's actually like semi-accurate in a lot of things okay slimy slimy jam 11 with the m capitalized it's like whoops Slimy jam 11 like that i think all right, now we log on to the network with the admin password, but I can't tell you. All right, so now here's our uh, here's our network map. We've got a router here, we can see, and uh, basically we just have to try to figure out why uh, none of these things are working. So the the little red dot means it's not working. It's not getting a network connection. So 
You can see here, we're running WPA2 for some reason. These both have DHCP enabled though, and this does not have DHCP enabled. He's paid me a couple hundred dollars to come and turn DHCP on his, on his router. Exit. All right. That was, that was easy. <laughs> so yeah, so it's, uh, it's actually a hundred percent accurate. That's, uh, that is what, um, that's what being in IT is. <laughs> oh, gotta love it. He told me what? Three out of five stars. I fixed everything. It was working. What are you talking about? I only get three out of five stars. Leonard, I thought I could trust you. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. At least I'm not going to lie. I'm struggling to keep my eyes open. Um... I got up extra early yesterday morning to uh, try to work out, and it didn't work. But I, I stayed awake, but I did not work out. And uh, and then this morning I woke up extra early because for some reason I had an email or uh, oh my God, an email a meeting scheduled for um, for early in the morning for a uh, had a meeting scheduled for seven thirty for some reason. Don't know why. We got up at 6.30, went to the Omaha, Omaha Zoo. Wait, you, you drove up there, went to the zoo and drove back? Oh my goodness. I, whoops. I just accepted the job and hit complete on it. I didn't even do anything. Um, that's that's pretty insane. That is that's that's a lot of driving for one day. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, I got a zero out of uh, five for that one. Whoops. Whoops. All right, we got to get in here. I don't even know what we're doing here. Why am I connecting to this server? My devices are having some kind of problem. I can't get them to connect to the internet. Three hours up, three hours back. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds, sounds like a good time. Sounds like a good time. Let me guess. DHCP's off. Why is DHCP off? Why do you turn that off? Okay. We gotta enable it. That'll that'll make it happen. Basically just checking boxes. Just making sure everything's working. Okie dokie. Thank you for your patience, sir. Five out of five stars. We are back in business. We're back in business. Average rating has gone all the way down to 3.9 out of five. Ouch. Yeah, that, that zero out of five really, really killed us. Whoops. Whoops. All right. I mean, I think we got I, we got plenty of money. I don't know what we're going to use it for. But we got money. Either way, we have completed an entire week at Devin Does Tech's tech company. Um, which I think is about, it was pretty good. I think it's pretty good. Buy more tools? I, I don't think I can buy tools. I, I have to take courses first. And buy components. I can't. 
I can buy licenses. A Windex license. A Linus. Or a BOS. Get a better chair. <laughs> I wish. I uh, do not... I, I can't buy any of that stuff. I can't buy most of this stuff yet. Look at these sweet processors I can buy. Pretty cool. Ugh, excuse me, but that's about that's all that's all I can buy. That's all I can buy so far. I need to do I need to take more courses and get smarter first. And then I can buy stuff. Ugh, but unfortunately I am probably going to uh, call it a night because I am tired and I'm ready for bed at this point. <laughs> I'm really, really hoping that next week is not quite this bad. I've been struggling the last couple of days. So I hope you guys are doing well. This is what happens I'm, I'm doing a caffeine cleanse. Did I tell you that? I don't even remember who I told at this point. I, uh, I, I'm doing a, my, or yeah, I mean, I posted on Twitter. You probably saw it there. I, um, have not had caffeine since, uh, <laughs> I've not had caffeine since Tuesday. And, uh, I think I'm a little bit better today. Like the headaches, all that kind of stuff is gone, but Man, I'm just, like, exhausted. I was really hoping I was just going to be, like, hyped up tonight and be like, all right, yeah, let's go. We're streaming. We're doing this. Dude, I'm so tired. <laughs> I, yeah, I've not had, I've not had anything uh, since, since Tuesday. So, I mean, the last, last bit of caffeine I had was Monday afternoon. So, uh. That's where we're at right now, but it's all right. It's just time for bed. <laughs> Gonna go watch Dune 2. Sounds like fun. Sounds like a good time. Sounds like a good time. Told Devin to watch Fallout. I have not, uh, yeah, definitely have not watched it yet. I don't, well, I mean, I was just going to say I don't have time to watch it, but we watched two episodes of Dragon Ball Z with uh, with dinner. We finally broke through episode 200 of Dragon Ball Z. We are two-thirds of the way done. We're getting there. We're getting there. Then we've got Dragon Ball GT. And Dragon Ball Super. And all the movies. Oh, all right, guys. I appreciate you being here. And if you want to stick around, I will, uh, I'll switch to this beautiful thanks for watching screen for a little while. So you can feel free to, uh, to stick around if you want. <laughs> All right, we'll see you later, guys. Hope you guys have a fantastic night. Uh, let me let me know, Tony, if you uh, if you get thirsty. I know those monsters can be uh, dehydrating. Good evening, Chase. Good evening, and good night. Good evening and good night. <laughs> oh, I wish. Uh, I wish, I wish I was, was conscious enough to, uh, to stick around much longer. Now is, now is the point in, uh, in time where I just completely zone out and, uh, and, and just fall asleep with my eyes open. Uh, either way, I appreciate all you guys being here.
I appreciate you. You're all fantastic people. Alrighty. I will see you later. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you so much for everybody being here. I appreciate you guys. We'll see you later. Thank you.